everyone hear me? Hello? Can everyone hear me? Before the band plays its next competition in London, England, we are very proud of them. They're one of only three schools from the United States to go to that competition, and they're under the direction of Victoria Miller, Spain Middle School Band. And, you know, it is a way of saying we have good restrooms, because just saying it doesn't mean enough. But we're hoping they bring this with them, and this is where they'll try. So there's a couple I would have preferred to be in here, but they wouldn't give me a recipe, so they didn't make it. Uh, anyway, we ended, this is the new brochure. This is the booklet that tells us about our shuttling. Uh, this now Kobo has room service, and it goes all into how we shuttle within our suburban hotels in downtown for a convention. And speaking of the people mover, our people mover station will open in Cobo Hall on no November 15th, which will make a big, big difference for our customers. Right now, you don't come into Cobo Hall. In fact, it's been kind of humorous. Uh, we've told our customers to get off of the financial district. So they start at the Westin, they go all the way around this whole big trip, get off of the financial district and they can see the Weston. And they thought, my God. So then we quit doing that. We told them to get off of the Joe Lewis station so at least they couldn't see the Weston when they got off. <laughs> but it is, it'll make, it'll make a great difference once it's in the hall. It'll be down on the, on, on the far corner. I'm just gonna quickly show you where you are in our plans and what it will be like. Right now, you are in this room right here. And as you can see, there's going to be a whole new section up over here that will be down there of meeting rooms. That's in the new section. It just, it's just foundations. There's no room. We, you are right now, right here. These have the old meeting room numbers, which is interesting. This has been really a challenge. We've changed all the numbering system two weeks ago. 
And if you've had a building for 25 years and had one numbering system, and then actually we had to change it because we have no rooms. And it wouldn't make any sense. We'd have to jump these big numbers. And so we, we it, this, I mean, this is serious business, talking about changing the numbering system. This must have taken us, it was easy building a hall. It's uh, changing the numbering system that was tough. And then, is that what you, they showed you the room upstairs quickly. We are going to have those three great, big, large meeting rooms, which will have, they can help hold, uh, to eat dinner will hold a thousand people. And they can be divisible, so you wouldn't have to use them for that long. Also meeting rooms on the other side. A neat thing that we're going to have is my office is going to be on this side. I'm going to have a glass floor to ceiling window looking over the exhibit halls. Because that's really the business I'm selling. I'm selling exhibit space. And, and uh, we had seen it, in, I think, in Atlanta. And Harold Barner, who's the architect on this, decided to do me one better. I not only have the big window, he's made me a balcony. So I can go out, walk out, and see how they're doing, and you know, step back in. So I'm excited about that. This, this is the color coding we've done. I don't know what it's going to hold there. If you noticed, this is we have named the halls by the counties, and what those three counties' names are are the counties that the room tax, the pays for the expansion of Coal Hall, is being collected. Otherwise. It's in an alphabetical order. The new hall that you will that is you know, that as you go through the people mover, you'll see that great big hall on the far end. That's going to be called the Detroit Hall. I figured why shouldn't be Detroit have the biggest and best? It's going to be the biggest one. It's 200,000 square feet, and it's all going to be color coded. It's all going to be orange. So the carpet you see here, we call this red. Uh, you will always know where you are by the color you're in. And we've numbered the rooms. Okay. We've numbered the rooms. It's, it's going to be otherwise. If you're on the far end, it'll be D. You're in the section of D. The next number will be the level you're on. You're in what level? One, two, three. And then it will say the room number. So you'll always know if you're on orange, you're in Detroit, in that, that level. If you're on, and this is the color here, which, which they call red. Got the red band. Even on the main corridor, the the, the, rug, the carpeting you see in the main corridor is only uh, temporary carpeting. It's not the carpeting they're going to have. It's going to be like this, and you will know by the color carpeting downstairs. Uh, and it, it, as I say, this is this is uh, Detroit, this is Macomb, this is Oakland, and this is Wayne. And each hall, there's a great big exhibit hall that will be next to each one of these. So the, these are the exhibit halls, and they're all named, all color coded, and the numbers go up. We, we've had such good experience here in Detroit after the Renaissance of, of people being lost in the building. So we really you know, studied hard on the right way to do it so that you would be in a color coded area and know. People are putting it in their programs, other words. If they say the meeting is going to be in M, two and then a number, you will know, they'll put a color in that program, so you will know when you see the